Hello people, anyone watching this at the moment. Today I'm making a tutorial on how to do a cinematic kind of looking thing for like trailers and everything. So first you're going to import your clip and then crop it in a lot and then just add the wiggle effect really quick. So you just add null object, then camera, click OK, OK, click on the camera, click P, then Alt, the clock, and then I like these settings. I use wiggle two, comma two three. That's just the settings I use. Then I add that and drag these two things on. And then now I'm not sure if you can see that on the screen, but it's like the wiggle effect thing. So oh well, it's lagging really bad. But it's, it wiggles around and stuff, so it makes it look nicer. And then, what you're going to do for that after, is you're going to need a plugin called Magic Bowl Looks, just so you can add a really nice color correction. It's really easy to make one. So again, this is also just like for trailers. Make it look nice, so you'll just have like a Twixter, or anything you want to add. Like just Twixtering out, like on trailer music or something. Then you're just gonna add like kind of a dark color correction if you want. Um, I'll add whatever I want. I'll just add like what you want to do is uh, find which color correction you'd like to use. So I'll add a two strip thing that looks really dark and nice. The colors are really weird. I don't really like that too much. Now the colors back to normal kinda. Um, so you'll add like exposure. Doesn't really matter. Put, put it like brighter and stuff. Anamorphic flare. Doesn't really matter what you use. Um, it's clay. Now, last thing you're gonna need is um, I don't use no lights. Well, if I ever did this, I would not use no lights. So you can add new layer, adjustment layer. Wait, no, that won't work. Um, new layer, solid. Make sure it's black. Now you're gonna add video copilot, optical flares. Then once you add that, um, I made a preset. You find a glow that looks just right. Um, so I'll click onto this one. This one looks just right. Suggest so the settings that you think would be best for the map, and then that's how you really use it. So I'll click OK. Take a sec. So then what what you're gonna do is an important part. You're gonna um put it to the top, kind of the top. Like right there is perfect. Next you're gonna put this on transparent. Now you can see it kind of on the screen. Looks kind of not too smooth, so you're going to add the brightness up a bit. Okay, that's way too much. Just going to tone that down a bit. And then you want to put the scale a little bit higher. So now it looks really good. I could drag it even farther back, however you like it. And then you want these like two little arrows to be right there. So what you're going to do now is use this thing and then drag it to the six man, or whatever clip you're using. And now, before you start it again, you're going to crop it bigger so it adjusts to the wiggle. Let's give it a sec. Right there, it's just fine. So now, this is basically it. So, um, I'm going to render this out. And at the end of this video, I'll show the final product. So, thanks for watching. And, peace.